I'm gonna eat my sandwich. It's hard to eat when you drive stick shift. I mean, you shouldn't be eating when you're driving, technically. Yay, we're vlogging! Good morning, viewers. It is Wednesday in the morning. I'm usually in the office at home right now, working, but we are going to get vaccinated. We're going to a drive through vaccination site. It's uh, run by LA County. This is at Southwest College or University Southwest. That's some, the Southwest is in the name somewhere. Kind of a chillier day in LA, so I've got my jacket on. I'm wearing a tank top under this. I've not worn a tank top out literally many months. For getting the vaccine, it seems appropriate to wear a sleeveless today. Got my Starbucks. I'm wearing my Invisaligns right now, and I was brushing my teeth, and I was thinking, should I wear my Invisaligns while I'm in the car, like when I go get vaccinated, because it's gonna take like two, two and a half hours. It's a 45 minute drive there. Probably be at the site for at least 30, 45 minutes, maybe. I don't know how long the wait's gonna be. We do have an appointment, and it's gonna be the drive back. I don't wanna not wear it for like three hours. Then I'm thinking, I don't wanna drink coffee with the Invisaligns either. It's like soaking your teeth in coffee. Anyways, I'm wearing them right now because I didn't feel like I shouldn't be wearing them for three hours. I also have breakfast. I eat food at the house, but there's also a little treat from Starbucks that I'm gonna nibble on when I am waiting in line. I expect I have to wait and lying at the site for some amount of time. Los Angeles is a big place. I don't know exactly where I am. I'm just following the GPS. By the way, I have to like turn off my GPS to vlog for you guys. So you're welcome. We're about a mile away from the vaccination site. I'm gonna pull up any minute now. I was reading last night about how to prepare for a vaccine. And on one house thinking, well, I get the flu vaccine every year. And I know it's not the same vaccine. It's got more side effects and stuff, but like, I don't think there's that much you can really do to prepare to get the vaccine beforehand. I'm almost looking forward to the side effects so I can just say to work, I've got side effects and can't work. <laughs> okay, Los Angeles Southwest College is where we are. That's where the vaccination site is. It's a drive-through site. I've got my iPhone that I'm talking to you on. I've got a GoPro and then I've got uh, my second phone on this little tripod thing. None of those are designed to mount anywhere in a car. So I don't know how I'm gonna like set up the GoPro or like my second phone. It won't like grip onto anything. So I was coming up to an intersection. It was like a little bit of traffic coming to the intersection, but you know, you come up to an intersection, it's like a red light, like your cars that are stopped. The curb lane is a line of like 50 cars all going to the vaccination site. So I was not in the curb lane because I'm not the kind of driver to like fucking just cut in. I'm really not. I don't like queuing, but I won't cut the queue. So I'm gonna go do a U-turn, go back three blocks to join the end of that effing line. Okay, my appointment is 10 past 11. I was gonna get there 50 minutes early. It's 10.45 right now, so I'm 25 minutes early. The cars are moving, that line of like 50 cars. It's moving, it's just not moving quickly. All right, we are in line so we're an intersection away from where the entrance is and there's the line the curbside we're not moving that quickly it's taking me a minute to move like five car lengths but this is cray cray uh, popo are here for the cray cray yeah but i guess if you're gonna come to a large vaccination site it's gonna be expected that there's gonna be a lot of people and you're gonna have to wait so i'm lucky i've got my starbucks and I've got my food. I'm just gonna chillax in the lineup for a bit. How are you guys? Are you all getting vaccinated? Have you got your vaccine already? Do you guys get the one dose or you guys need to double dose? Comment down below. All right, oh, we're going in. There's a sweet bump. Oh, we gotta put our mask on. This is gonna be the most random footage, guys. My cameras are not properly mounted. Woo, let's get some nice shots from that one. Mask on, mask on. So when you're in your car, you just used to like taking your mask off. Usually when I get into the car nowadays, anywhere I go, the moment I get in my car, I shut my door, the mask comes off. So everyone's been queuing and lying in their car, obviously without their mask on, not even thinking about the mask. So they're just telling everyone to put their mask back on as we enter. Technically on time, we got in here 
just past 11 and my appointment is 10 past 11. The line got really started moving after we got past that intersection, which is um, Imperial and Western is that intersection that cuts through the queue. Got three cameras going right now. Got a GoPro that's literally just sitting on the dash that's gonna like slide off at any moment. I've got my Pixel that I've hung off the rear view mirror somehow. And then I've got my iPhone that's on the car mount for the phone. The last time I had three cameras filming at the same time, it was for uh, my OnlyFans. Kidding! Okay, I mean, the line is pretty, pretty quickly. Like there's a ton of cars here and they've got people stationed all throughout the pathway. Like the path of the vehicle is supposed to take their signs everywhere. Seems like pretty organized operation. Oh, they're also doing uh, walk-ups as well. They're doing not just drive through or I don't know if this was drive through just doing, I guess, the people at the college. Oh, I should close that window. I need to keep my, <laughs> keep my bubble in my car. I guess they're doing it in the parking lot for some people. I guess there's also um, a site where you can get vaccinated out of your car. They were doing that over there. But it's pretty organized. I mean, yeah, you have to expect that you're gonna wait a little bit. Oh, it's parking. Such a parking hog. Like, I'm in a parking lot. I'm like, where's, where's parking? Where's parking? I'm not even coming here to park. But you're in like a parking structure. You're like, oh, someone's pulling out. Someone's pulling out. <laughs> It's like a reactive thing now. You enter a parking structure. It's like, you're not even looking for parking. You feel like exiting or something. Could have parked there for like a week at the airport. You're exiting and you're like, oh, there's a spot. There's a spot. A lot of people walking up and down. Oh, are they having people park? I think they're having people park. This car like parked on the thing. Okay, I think it's the thing where you park and get out. Because I've been told to park. So I'm gonna park and get out now. <laughs> We're now on foot, but I thought this was a drive through. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, I'm back in the car. We've gone our vaccine, but it's pretty painless. There's like a little bit of weight because they had to bring more vaccines from upstairs, or I guess there's like a refrigerator or storage unit. I don't know how it works, but we got the Pfizer vaccine. I've read online that I'm not supposed to show you my vaccination card. And I think that's because like, they don't want people to like put their full name and their birth date onto social media. So I'm gonna like hide that part of it, but I can show you. Yay, I got my first dose and they've already scheduled my second dose. The act of like getting the vaccine, like the stab itself, the jab, it's like just a regular needle. It's not any different. You can't feel that it's like, oh, I can feel that this is the Pfizer vaccine that's going in. You can't feel it except for like that little pinch. I thought this was a drive through site. So let me clear that up. I picked this site specifically because I thought this was a drive through I said it in my vlog last weekend that I picked this one because I thought I didn't have to get out of the car. They've cleared like a corner of each floor by the stairs. So there's like multiple actual vaccination points within like the building, the parking structure itself. So there's the one that was on the ground floor. I'm parked on the second Second floor and there's like another similar setup on the second floor as well. I don't know how many floors they're doing. I only made it to the second floor. There is like a whole line of cars behind me that are exiting and then just as many cars that are like going in. So they just point you to like a parking spot you're supposed to park at, you get out and then you walk to the nearest vaccination point within the parking structure. You notice I'm sitting in the car partially because I wanted to vlog, but partially this is how you're supposed to wait your 15 minutes to make sure you're not having a adverse reaction. And if you do have a reaction, I've been told I'm supposed to honk my horn and then someone will come. I'm not supposed to like run back down there. At the vaccination point, they also had an area with a sign for the 30 minute waiting period. So I guess if you're at like a higher risk of having an adverse reaction, they want to monitor you for 30 minutes, not 15. And they want you to wait 
in that special area right where the vaccination point is and not go back to your car. I saw the sign for the 30 minute vaccination point. I was like, oh, did it make everyone wait there? And like, I didn't think to bring my coffee. I was like, okay, I'm getting like the vaccine. Doesn't look like you need to wait very long when you actually like walk up to the vaccination point. I don't want to be carrying my coffee and all that junk. I have my phone, my wallet, my ID and everything already. So they didn't need my car registration. They just needed my ID, which is fine. My driver's license still has my San Francisco address on it because like the DMV never updates your address in California. So I brought my car registration, which does have my LA address. They're like, oh, we need to check that. This vaccination site is run by LA County and they use a website called Carbon Health. And I got a QR code, which they didn't scan, but I guess somehow they were able to just like look up for my ID and they don't need the code anymore. I saw them scan like a couple other people's codes, but they didn't scan my code, but okay, whatevs. We'll see how bad the side effects are. No adverse reaction yet. I mean, it's like an extremely rare situation to have in the first reaction it's like one in like several hundred thousand like one in a million or something it's just very very rare but i'm just gonna wait the 15 minutes all right and i'm gonna keep you guys updated on possible side effects if any if slash when they develop thanks for watching me get vaccinated until next time bye youtube